Tonight, I heard someone who says that they are a black person state on a radio program that cannabis legalization could perhaps lead to more black people being arrested and terrorized because under white supremacy, they have separate rules for black people and separate rules for white people. Now, I understand the paranoia that many, many people have under the system of white supremacy, and it can even be a positive in terms of survival. As they say, better to play it safe than to be sorry. However, paranoia can be unhealthy, especially if you believe your enemy is so strong that no matter what you do, you cannot defeat him. You cannot outsmart him and you lose no matter what you do. That kind of thinking can lead to deep despair and depression. The kind of despair and depression that leads one to commit suicide because you believe you cannot win. So what is the point of going on living? Let us examine the logic. First of all, black people short of being rounded up for extermination are already being arrested, terrorized, and enslaved more than they ever have in the United States. Before cannabis was made illegal, you did not have the huge amounts of black people incarcerated in the numbers they are today. To suggest that cannabis legalization could lead to more oppression, more incarceration, and more enslavement is a very illogical thing to say. If something is not deemed illegal by the powers that be, can they arrest you for it? How can they convict you for possession of it. In terms of cannabis legalization, that is like saying I can be arrested, convicted, and incarcerated for possession of oregano. It has been documented that leading up to the 70s era laws that created the Drug Enforcement Agency passed during the Nixon administration that Nixon told his staff that we have to find a way to target the blacks without seeming as if we are targeting blacks. Ever since, the incarceration rate of black people has increased. No one nation on the face of the planet takes freedom away and locks up people like the United States of America. Therefore, to suggest that the legalizing of a plant will lead to increased incarceration is a very illogical thing to suggest. With cannabis and other drugs, for that matter, being criminalized for adults, even if one does not use, sell, or have anything at all to do with drugs, we have seen over and over dirty cops like those police drug units in Philadelphia who will plant drugs on you. The DEA will go to, into poor communities and set up fake drug houses and then entice poor people to rob those drug houses just to make an arrest, get a conviction, and sentence someone to a prison place. Plantation. Let's not get it twisted. The drug war is not the root cause of the mass incarceration re enslavement of black people. White supremacy and a slave based prison economy is the root cause of it. The drug war, specifically the criminalization of the cannabis plant, is just a tool the system uses to achieve its goal. Logic dictates that the fewer tools your enemy has to use against you, the better off you will be, and we will be, as a people. Common sense is not common, but let us not try to make sense of the illogical. This has been Scotty Reed, Black Talk Radio News.